Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about self-taught programmers and software engineers. So let's get into it. So the question in question was pretty much, Frederick, do you feel that we should put an end to this self-taught programmer phenomenon where people who, and or at the very least, make a distinction between software engineering and programmers? And the short answer is, yeah, I suppose that that would bring us a bit of clarity, but it's never going to happen. Well, at least not until we have the same sort of definition of what makes a software engineer versus a programmer. If you can't make that distinction in a uniform way, it's not possible. Let me explain. So. I have on a few occasions said that I don't like the idea that some people have that you can take a term that means something and then simply you, you, can, you can repurpose it and I don't like that. You can repurpose it to basically steal some of the value that that label has. In this case it's going to be engineer. I had a video about this a while back where I stated that I don't think it's a good idea for people to call themselves engineer unless they have what we call an, what the, the standard way you become an engineer is that you go to a technical college of some sort, you get a degree in engineering of some sort. That is the way that you should establish this. And that does not mean that you can't be an engineer, that you can't learn this on your own time, you can't do all these other things. That's fine. The problem with diluting that, and then you have people, because you have people who then call themselves software engineers, they call themselves QA engineers, I have had UX engineers, like you hijack that term and that mean, that dilutes the meaning. And you're doing that because engineer means smart person. In, in, for, that's why, why you do it. You don't do it. Like nobody's going to call themselves a UX garbage man. So why are you doing it? You're doing it because it makes you sound smarter. And you could do the same thing. I, re, I honestly, per, personally, I think that one of the biggest, weirdest things that we ever did was to allow the term doctor to not just mean person who heals the sick, but to also mean person who has gone through a lot of academics. Why? Couldn't we have just invented a new term like grand pooba? Oh, sorry, that could probably be a trademark. But grand something something, very smart individual, instead of using the same term, because it just causes confusion. All that happens is that the person who's calling themselves a doctor gets to say that they are a doctor and the person who is asking, oh, do you heal the sick? No, I have a degree in history. I am a doctor or something like that. Like it, it just creates confusion. So the same thing applies to software engineering. And why this is even harder when it comes to software engineering is because what makes you a programmer and what's going to make you a software engineer? Well, unless we go with the very simple distinction that I was talking about, that the software engineer actually has a degree from a technical college with all the standard things that you would expect from an engineering degree, then yeah, then sure, let's call that person a software engineer and everybody who is just knows how to code or doesn't have an engineering degree actually, then they are programmers and I'm absolutely fine with that. But the thing is that it's not going to, it doesn't give me the sensation, I don't get the sensation from this, the way that this question was form, formulated that that is the problem, that one should call themselves a programmer and the other one should call themselves a software engineer. Because the key word there was these, the self-taught programmer phenomenon, or that's the, that's the key term for me. So this person seems to be more interested in making the distinction between people who in their eyes are good programmers and people who are not good programmers, or people that, that there's different levels of quality within programmers. And this is for sure something that happens, and it's also something I've talked about before. I've said before that uh, one thing that usually people have an issue with, is, especially if they are 
owners of one of those very nice labels like, oh, I'm a doctor or I'm a something like that is that, oh, if they see somebody else try to use that term, but they don't fulfill their subjective opinion of what it means to be that thing, they're going to be, be, they're going to frown a little bit and go, uh, no, 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 you're not a real person doing that. You're not a real Swede. You're not a real Norwegian. You're not a real doctor. You're not a real pro program, a software engineer. No. You're not because you don't fulfill my personal requirements. Since I have this label, and you then, and you're not as good as I am, you're not that uh, that person, right? So that is what it's. This is coming off as sounding, and I think that that is. It's just an unconstructed thing, right? Yes, it would be great if we could make that distinction, but as I was saying, it's impossible pretty much to do that because even if you go to software you go and become a software engineer that does not mean that you're going to be all that much more valuable to an in, to an IT company it really doesn't some of the best programmers just as some of the best entrepreneurs in the world never went to school and are making more money than all the people that actually did uh, there are uh, th this is the thing like should we define what a real salesperson is or what a real entrepreneur is like it becomes the silly thing now the reason why we've done it with doctors why you have to have a medical degree is because we value the work that the medical professional does high enough because they're responsible for people's lives that we really did make an effort to define this because we want to make sure that you know your stuff. It's the same thing with a driver's license. Nobody's going to ask you to take a driver's license for walking or running or a bicycle. But since if you're, if you're in a mechanical moving vehicle, you're actually a danger to other people, then we're going to check you. And you could make an argument, and to some point I agree, that the same thing can be said for software engineers. If you have really shitty engineers working on something that is very critical, at the very least it's going to cost you a lot of money. And in a worst case scenario, it might kill people. But as I was saying, I don't see how we could ever, ever make that distinction because software engineering, it changes all the time. What you should know is moving constantly. If you know, where should we draw the line? That's the problem. It's almost impossible to draw the line. So what I want you to take away from this is that, sure, I think that if we're, if we're just talking about trying to define the difference between someone who went to college and have an engineering degree and software, software skills and so forth, let's call these people software engineers. That's great. And if we're talking about somebody who knows how to program and didn't, doesn't have an engineering degree, yeah, let's call them programmers. I don't really care. It doesn't really change much apart from that you're making a very granular distinction. And if that's done in good faith, I'm supporting it. But the way that this was formulated feels more about more like it's about yeah, I'm very, I'm better than this. I, this group is better than that group, or this per, this person is better than the people in this group. That is what it sounds like. I would be really, really surprised if the person who asked this question isn't a software engineer. I would be really, really surprised. But anywho, if you can do it, go ahead because there is a value in making sure that things are clear. Clear terms are usually a very good thing. But I don't see how it could possibly be done because it, the definition of what a software engineer needs to know or a program or anybody in, time, in IT needs to know is constantly in, it's constantly moving. And until we can respect the work or value at least the work that software engineers do as highly as that of someone who needs a driver's license to, auto, to move a vehicle or a medical license to operate on people or to heal the sick, then un unless we start valuing things that way, it's probably not going to happen. Have a great day.